Welcome to the G. Nelton Studio. In this video, you'll see Lois making a plate using the 30-ton ram press. The plate now has its shape, so Lois will use the G. Nelton logo and stamp it on the bottom. Now it's time to remove all the excess clay from around the plate. This will help later when the plate's edges need to be cleaned up. It may not look like anything is happening here, but actually Lois is pressing a lever which uses an air compressor to pump air into the upper die which pushes water out the porous surface of the mold. The water helps loosen the plate and eventually it falls down onto the waiting bat. It's been a day or two and the plates have been given time to dry. Now they need to be cleaned up on the top, bottom, and especially around the edge. Here, Adriana is on the wheel with a plate, using sponge and some trimming tools to clean it up. This process takes several minutes and needs to be done on each plate. After pressing nearly a hundred a few days before, the trimming process will take a couple days to complete. The plates must be completely dry when they are fired or they will explode in the kiln. Here the kiln is stacked and loaded and ready for a bisque firing. Now that the plates have been fired, they can be glazed. Here Lois is in the spray booth, using a spray gun to glaze the middle of the plates. The spray gun allows for a very even distribution of the glaze. Now she's on the wheel, cleaning off the glaze that is on the edge of the plates. With the rim of the plates clear of the glaze, she can draw her designs. Now she's drawing a line so she knows exactly where the glaze ends. And here you can see some of her hand-drawn designs. This plate has the designs filled in with many colors using glaze stains. Once the plates have been painted, Lois outlines each shape in black so the colors and designs really stand out. As you can see, every hand-painted plate is unique. The plates will be sprayed again with a transparent glaze to make them shiny, and then put in the kiln for the final firing. And here is the final product of the whole process. The plates will now be purchased and used in someone's kitchen, or they will become one of this month's featured items on our online store at www.genelton.com.